so we're on to our second card. So for this, you need your card base. Now we're working with a slightly bigger card this time round. Um, for this one, it's slightly pearlescent. Um, you need a red pigment ink stamp of your choice. A word stamp of your choice. Mine says season greetings uh, because I am pagan. Whoops. And there aren't any that say Yule. So, but I am very aware that you know there are lots of other people. Anyway, carrying on. <laughs> you need some little um... cats. Going to chew that in a minute, but hey. Um, 3D um, stamp pads. I think they're called. Uh, a guillotine cutter, a ruler, some red card, and either white paper or white card. I'm using white paper because that's what I have for hands. And the whole idea behind this is that, excuse me, girl is trying to chew on that, um, is that this is fairly simple to do. So, for the first layer, uh, first thing you're going to do, obviously after prepping your table, now this table is a um, very old <coughs> broken rickety table so I don't mind getting this one dirty so you're gonna open your card out get your stamp try and avoid your cat um, and you are literally going to just repeatedly so get a lot of color on there because otherwise it's not gonna work too much and then you're just going to where I'll stop um, stamp down and then you are going to kind of every couple of ones, overlap all the words, and kind of make a nice little uh, outline. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up while I do this, so I'll see you in a minute. You are then going to fold it back down. Try not to go over the edge. I'm aware I've messed up horribly, but there we go. Now the next thing you need is a ruler because what you're going to do now is you're going to measure roughly. So this is roughly one about 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. Now it's a square, so I should have known that already, but <clears throat> so. <laughs> I forgot you will need a pen for this bit, but thankfully I have a drawer right next to me. So on, um, what you do is obviously you mark out the first bit. Now I always do long bits, which I should probably shouldn't do, but I'll have a look. Um, yeah, probably should do the short way. And then you grab your guillotine. Now you can do this with scissors. Oh. Helps if I do it the right way around first, doesn't it? Um, I prefer a guillotine, so you don't have to do this bit without scissors. Uh, with with a guillotine, you can do it with scissors. I should say. Um, just draw it out as a full square before you do anything. Okay, makes sense. Oh, I forgot, you'll need a glue stick. I'm horrible. I'm See, this is the first time I've done proper craft instructional videos. Right, so there's your square. Um, now, whoops. Essentially, that is going to... Sorry, I was watching something in the background. Uh, so that is going to go there. Now, however, you want to get a very slightly smaller square around it again so go half a centimeter so again you're going to put your excess paper to one side you are going to use that in a minute card sorry you're going to put your card to one side and then you are going to measure out the next tiny little square that you want to do Now Loki's 
come to say hello. And then you just cut it out using scissors or your guillotine, depending on what you are using. Always put your scrap bits of paper to one side. I always find a use for them at some point. That's not the bit that has the <laughs> line on it. This is a Sunday morning, people. This is what you get from me. Okay, so obviously you don't want to use the bit that has the black mark on it, so you're going to turn it over and <clears throat> putting aside your guillotine, you are going to pick back up your stamp and your ink and you're going to go around the edge again. So I'll speed this up and then I will go and get my um, glue stick. back so prick stick as I said need glue so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna get your central piece of card and then you're going to position it obviously where you want it and then you are going to glue it whoopsie Obviously that's the added benefit of using card and not paper, is it won't crease. But hopefully we'll be able to hide that. Okay. I'm going to flatten down your... Obviously make sure it's a little bit more accurate than I've just done. I'm normally really good with that. Today is not my day it seems. Okay, cool. So, with that done, you're then going to get your piece of card and your little um, four of them preferably or if you don't have four because I have been using them up you can use the slightly smaller ones you don't need to use the large ones it's just uh, I bought these from a pound store and I've been trying to desperately use them up and now I realize that I use them more than anything else it's a bit uh, difficult to actually um, do any more but hey, um, this is what we do, isn't it? Okay, so. And then, obviously, you do this. Peel everything off. Turn it over line it up to try and make it look neater than I, I have done on mine and there you go and then take out your trusty ruler and you do the whole thing again for the final layer so I'm going to speed this bit up
So this is actually going to be the final piece. So what you can do, so I was thinking just doing the season's greetings isn't going to be enough. So um, I am going to get a completely different stamp from my stamp book. Now, I like this one. So, I get out this Christmas tree. I think he'll fit. Let's have a look. Let's make sure it'll fit first. Yes, he will. So, yeah. Now, you could just stamp the season's greetings right in the middle if you wanted to but this is that's just not doing it for me now the good thing about these um <laughs> i should really get all this stuff ready instead of just having it come on I will get rid of it better at this, I promise. It's just I haven't done this before. So anyway. Um, yeah. You could just stamp your, your seasonal greeting or you can do what I'm doing, getting a different stamp completely. And just... Now I know these like things are actually supposed to be, you know, a bit more specific. These things are supposed to make it a bit more specific, but I'm me and I can't do that because I'm an idiot. But anyway, there we go. So that's what it's going to look like now. So then, once again, just going to take our glue. Turn it around. Try and make it a bit more even this time. And then, once again, get your little, I've only got little stamps now, <laughs> whoops, put your glue away. to add say some stickers to it if you had any I don't have any to hand so I'm not going to do that you could add little stickers on the tree to make it look better if you're using a tree or if you just do the season greetings you can put a couple you could put a couple in the corners basically this is a really nice really quick simple card to do that is also really easy to alter up to whatever you want to do with it and that's it that's how you make that card it's a nice card it's a really pretty card it's really simple to make and I'd be happy to get it. I'm always happy to get cards. So that's the second card. Okay, so I thought we'd do one more video today. So we're working with a slightly smaller card this time because the scraps that we had from making the last card will work really well with the project that I have in mind for this one. So I'm gonna put the envelope to set aside to start off with. So you need your card, obviously. Um, scrap or actual card, uh, red card and either white card or white paper once again uh, need your little 3d stickers which are in my little drawer here that my sister made for me um, ink in the color of your choice uh, glue stick of your choice and um, now this could also be used to make a birthday card so a stamp that has the words of your choice or a sticker if you have stickers you could use stickers instead um, this one says winter wishes and another stamp of your choice is going to act as the background now this may be a bit large but I wanted to give this a go because I haven't used this stamp yet and it's quite sticky and I'd like to give it a go so let's get straight into it oh yes you also need your trusty ruler and either a pair of scissors or a guillotine so start off with measure oh, and pen of course pen 
Right, start off, measure how big you want your um, red piece of card. So we're going to go with 13 and a half. Now this is not a square this time, so you've got to me actually measure it properly this time. So 13 and a half for us by... Nine and a half. And then you want to cut it out. Yeah. Card always takes a little bit longer to cut than paper. But there you go. Now you can keep that for use in other scrap projects later. I tend to keep them all. Whoops, I'm really struggling with holding on to stuff today. And then, do the same thing again. Now that bit might be a bit thin, but you know, you might be able to find something for it. Keep it or use it at your own discretion. Okay, cool. So even though there's a mark on this bit, we don't need to worry too much about that. Yeah. So again, you can choose to measure it out again to make sure that you know. Um, so this bit of paper here, oh, is that? No, that would have been too good to be true. So we're going to go for thirteen by nine on this. And then once again, you're going to cut it out. Okay. And then, make sure it fits, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so then, you can move everything that you don't need to one side. So that you don't get any of it dirty. And then you're going to... Take your stamp, your background stamp. We'll remove the back bit for a bit as well. And you get to stamp it. And then just. It doesn't need to particularly be neat. The whole idea behind this is that um, it's a background piece, kind of like, you know, the gift wrap paper that you get. Which just have like lots of pretty images put on them and that's what we're going for with this card so I'm going to try and fit as many reindeer as I can on this piece and uh, you don't need to restamp each time but I just want to try and get a nice even color going on it and I find with the hobbycraft um, ink pads you do have to restamp it a couple of times may just be me and there you go really simple Okay, so you don't need that anymore, so you're gonna put that to one side, get it cleaned up later, or preferably at the same time you do it. So, make sure when you, if you are using paper the same way I am, you only apply glue in one direction, otherwise it does cause damage to the paper. Make sure that it's roughly straight and even and then make sure that you stick it down okay so that's your background piece so bring your card back fold it in half don't need your glue right now what you do need is your sticky pads now you're going to flip your that over apply your sticky pads to the corners like so this 
This is also a good way to use up paper scraps as well, if you um, wish to. As I did from my last card, literally about five minutes ago, last card. Because look, there we go. That's a nice base. Now, we are going to put that to one side again. We're going to get the smaller piece of red card. Now, you need your ruler and you need to decide what you, um, so get your greeting and measure it up and make a little banner kind of piece. Make it slightly bigger because this is going to once again be a backing piece. Now, this is the back of your thing, so do something like this to make sure that you've got... Hmm. That is not the same length. A nice... even kind of dip for your banner. Now, I realised that I should have said I needed a pair of scissors. However, this is my craft room. So, again, more scrap paper. I love scrap paper. I love do. I, I try and find something to do with scrap paper all the time. Um, even if it's just a case of getting a large piece of paper and creating like a backing for a drawing that I'm doing. Now, a piece of paper like that, I probably couldn't. F Actually, I could find a use for that. I'll see if I can. So that is the back bottom of your banner so you want to get another piece of white paper and you are going to trace oh damn it don't do it the way i just did it on the right make sure the wrong side is kind of messed that up but we'll hide it we will hide it i will find a way of hiding it I may just recut it a new one, but we'll see. Um, and then you want to cut it slightly smaller, ever so slightly smaller than the original banner. There you go, there's your banner. Okay. And then, and then, then, let's come up with our correct wording. You take your little white piece of banner and you stamp it and then you do one. Or if you don't think that's enough, you can do like that once again making sure you only go one direction glue it down to your banner to your backing banner piece I've messed it up just a little bit but you know what that actually looks all right like so and then get your sticky pads again sticky pads are a lifesaver i love sticky pads you only need to use two though if you want to use more obviously i'm not going to tell you what to do on that regard i'm not even going to tell you what to do if you don't want to do these cards you don't have to and then Nice, quick, easy, simple card using leftover scraps and stamps. 
and it's as simple as that again if you want to add some embellishments so if you want to put some stickers on it pe um, gel pens colored pencils anything you want and it's made m mostly sorry stuttering made from scraps which is awesome and amazing and very useful for this time of year so there you go there's another Christmas card. So hello guys, we're gonna make the last card of this video. So, what you're gonna need is a slightly larger card for this one to do this. Now, of course, you can do a smaller card, but the numbers that I use are going to be different, so you're gonna to have to work that out yourself, I'm afraid. Uh, guillotine, or a pair of scissors, in some cases, and a pair of scissors. Uh, pen for marking out your measurements ruler for your measurements, three different uh, stamps. I have one that says Merry Christmas, a bauble and a stocking. Red and white card or paper, prick stick, the ink of your choice, and some little uh, 3D panels again. Now these have all been relatively the same. I, I understand that, but I like to prove that you don't need a lot to make cards. So, the first thing that you need to do is create nine four by four centimeter little um so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark off a four long lengthways and cut that and then four this way and then i'm going to cut them and i'll be back when i have nine So now I have 10 little cards. Now the reason I've got 10 is in case I mess up and doing one wrong. So as you can see, they will look um, fairly nice on this card like that. Kind of thing is the idea behind it. Okay, and then you've got to make nine white paper ones. Now these are going to be slightly smaller. These are 3.5 by 3.5. So I'm going to get back to that and once again I'm going to speed this up otherwise that's going to be incredibly boring to watch and I will be back soon.
so we got all of our little squares now. Now, once again, uh, this is where all the stamping's going on. So, you need to take your first stamp. Now, I'm going to do the um, stocking first. Now, make sure you've got some paper down, but as I've said before, this is my craft table, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and just start laying down his stamps. It doesn't really matter how they are on the square, just that they are at least on the square. Now, you do three of these for each stamp type. And I'll be back when everything's all stamped up. So I'm going to speed this up. squares done so we're going to bring these guys back over now obviously we want to make sure that we're not getting the black bit so make sure before you stick it down what side the black bits on pick up one of your uh, squares and get it glued and once again because this is going to be quite a long bit I will see you soon done I mean some of them may seem a little bit big uh, so just trim them down just a tiny bit okay and then you're gonna pick your middle one okay always start with the center with these so this one's gonna be my middle one because it's the one that has 
like Merry Christmas in the most, you know, biggest part of it. So we're gonna take our little 3D thingies. Um, now I'm just gonna use two, uh, one on each of these. Come on. And then we're just going to place that in the rough centre. Uh, it helps if you... Right, this card is going to be that way up now. Also, I should say, decide whether it's going to be that way or that way before you do that. Otherwise, you make a mess, which I've just done. So, um, and then you pick your next ones. And you kind of lay them out around it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna speed this thing a bit up and I'll be back with you soon. simple little card to make all of which you could probably do if you have a big enough sheet of card or paper with the remnants from the first card that we made so it's a nice different looking card if you want to add embellishments you could obviously do designs around the outside put stickers or you could even stamp all underneath the card and then do this over the top in a different color and it still look really good I quite like this it looks really nice and um, so that's it for the three cards for this video um, I know some of you aren't Christmas people on my list, this is going straight away, but um, 
I like I wanted to get back into doing craft videos and considering that I never buy cards I only ever hand make cards for people over Christmas I thought that some people would like to see the kind of cards that I make Ooh. and how quick and simple they can be to make so uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I will see you on the next video I hope you've liked leave it and I will see you next time